Hi, internet showed me another miracle man called Biba Stroja. He started from humble beginnings. At first glance, you would never think... He could hold live wires and cook sausage with electricity, holding wires and set fire by sending electricity through his body. Later he cooked more sausages and set more things on fire and also heated water with electricity holding live wires. But then he started showing how he could turn a lamp on with electricity generated through his body and then he got into healing people with electricity oh for sakes Miraculously though I probably got cancer watching his videos and my IQ dropped to Patrick Well I can understand a poor man trying electrical tricks to get attention of viewers so he can grow his business to make decent money so he can support his family Hell it sounds like I'm describing myself well, I mean, I have powers too. For example, I can send out electricity through my fingers enough to set a piece of paper like this on fire. But you don't see me bragging about it. Here I'm gonna fold a piece of paper and set it on the table so you know that it's not connected anywhere. And put my paper on top of it somehow. And we're ready to go. Wow! The problem is that it burns my finger too. So, I just use a piece of wire. I give this guy two things only. First, he has a skin as dry as a camel knees. And second, he has knowledge of electronics. Fortunately, this time Dan Smith did a better job having an actual professional check Biba and he realized very little current of around 2 milliamps runs through Biba's body. And his skin is very dry and high resistance. I have friends that sweat drips from their fingers and some that are very dry. I have normal skin and can also tolerate 2 milliamps through my body. But the difference between me and Biba is that because of my lower resistance skin, around 60 volt AC creates 2 milliamps through my body. But around 220 volt AC creates the same current through Biba's body. Which means that I can't tolerate voltages as high as Biba can. Now, as soon as you leave Dan alone to judge, he screws right up. With 220 volts of current flowing through these nails. What? 220 volts of current? <laughs> it's like saying one light year of time. <laughs> you know, light year is a unit of distance, right? Now, Viva's going to attempt to do something I've never heard of actually use the current running through his body to boil water in his hand. Oh, come on, man. He is parallel to those metal bars, not series. There is no extra current running through his body. He is just holding live wires like before. Anyways, let's do some experiments. Very dangerous. Never try this yourself. I'm gonna check my body with my auto transformer, which is basically a variable transformer that can reduce AC on its output. If you're interested, I've got this and many of my other tools from circuit specialists as usual. They are pretty good. Every time I need something for my videos, I just go online and realize, yup, they've got it. I guess I'll get it. Now to check my body tolerance, I set the output to minimum. At zero volts, it's pretty... Yeah! Oh, oh f I set it to maximum. It's the other way. It would definitely help if you measure the voltage you are about to touch and not assume its level. Now I'm going to put my one hand fingers on the live wires and increase the voltage until I feel it in my fingers. And around 64, 65 volts, I feel it in my fingers, which means definitely any voltage above this level would be dangerous for me. But I have super thick and dry foot sole skin, so let's try that. So here, I just step on the live wires and start increasing their voltage. Well, look at that. I start to feel them around 145 volts. So skin condition is very important, but you must never assume you're immune, otherwise it could be your last mistake. I can still do Biba's tricks with the 120 volt DC from my 9 volt batteries. Cooking sausage you say? You got it. I hooked my forks to the batteries and I don't feel the voltage much because it's DC. Now let's see if I can cook this. Wow, look at this. It's definitely cooking, but there is orange water coming out of one side and green water coming out of the other side. I would definitely not eat it. Passing electricity through food changes its chemistry. It touches live wires, no problem. I have two metal pieces in my power bar and I turn it on. I can easily touch those lines and I can even turn a light on holding those wires. 
I feel nothing because I'm powering it from my batteries. Maybe that's what he does too. He puts live wires in his mouth. Now 120 volt DC can be lethal in your mouth, but I can do that too. Stupidity. My elbow was sitting on one of these wires and the current went through my tongue to my elbow. Even the best magicians can accidentally kill themselves. Let's try it again. Hmm? Hmm? See, the key to this trick is that Biba first connects the contacts together, then puts it in his mouth. Which means that both contacts and his body are at the same voltage. So no current runs through his body at all. Basically everything he does is possible. What's fake is him claiming he has a special powers. He's very good at doing those tricks though. One single mistake and he's dead. As for setting the paper on fire, I did kind of like what Biba did. I have my musical Tesla coil that, if you remember, plays music out of its arcs. It is set up such that it's not arcing, but it's radiating energy to the environment. And I taped a piece of foil behind my paper. If I place the foil close to the coil, the foil picks up energy from the coil, and then from there it jumps to my body. These arcs are very high frequency current though, so due to something called the conductor skin effect, they run over the skin and burn. Now something none of those hosts figured was that the arcs jumping from Biba's body to that metal rod is actually going inside their own bodies and they don't feel it either. Come on, make that brain work a bit. Give away time. An electronic enthusiast without an oscilloscope is like... Whatever man, I mean you need an oscilloscope to really feel the circuit. That's why I'm gonna give away three scopes to my patrons at patreon.com and if you support my channel, I'll be your Robin Hood too and bring you free stuff from big corporates. So thanks for your support.